Brandon's here! Oh, Jesus. That wasn't even the intro I was going to go for, but I can't pass up this golden opportunity to... I can't possibly waste your amazing joke. Whoa! No. Mm. Wow. 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 Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's been a couple weeks, but yeah, there's nothing we can do in Mount Coronet. Uh, I was going to say, did wow. you know that it, nice. it only took like three years for it to go from uh, Broly to Bio Broly? It wasn't that's, three years. It. It that was... is how quickly they ruined Broly. Not, Not that I liked sure Broly in the first place, but you know. Me and Brandon were uh, deep diving in the Dragon Ball Wikia a few days ago. Which is always a fun thing to do, because it is astonishing the amount of information on the most inane bullshit you can find on there. Uh, we're depositing the egg, by the way, because we need someone who can use Surf, and the egg's not anywhere close to hatching. You you said it was three years from Broly to Bio Broly, right? Yeah. Meryl can learn it, Quagsire yeah, well, can learn it. Well, I'm telling learn. you right now, that's incorrect. It was three movies over the course of a single year. Oh my god, was it really? I it was 1993, I... <laughs> the, legend, the legendary Super Saiyan. Yeah. 1993, Bojack Unbound. 1994, Broly Second Coming. And then 1994, again, Bio Broly. It only took them a year to <laughs> make the stupidest character they have ever made. Paperclip Truck Driver is a god compared to fucking Bio Broly. What a shit character. Uh, by the way, my, if anyone's wondering why I picked Meryl, um, I just really love doesn't give a fuck Meryl's face. <laughs> and you get to see it every time you, you surf now. Okay, surf and is Meryl just way fly, better than water though. gun, so. No, but Tropius can. Hmm. Pen, uh, what's it called? Wingull and Pen? Pelipper. Pelipper. Can that learn Surf? Pelipper can, Wingull cannot. Huh, so you could so have it learn... Ultimate Pokemon? Yeah, Surf, surf and, and Fly. fly and that's surf? pretty nice. That's one of the most well-known, in my mind anyway, uh, Santa's Delibird posts. <laughs> oh, it'll never Did get old. You know old. that there's a surfing bird? It's Pelipper. It can learn surf and fly. Oh. Please tell me that's a direct quote. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. So, this playthrough has been going on for like four years now. So, I'm sure there's people who are new to the show who are just like coming in on this. Santa's Deli Bird, for anyone who doesn't know. Back in the old, olden days of my channel. <laughs> the old, but, olden days. Not but the not, olden days. not in the old, 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 olden days. That's like Dawn of War. Uh, in the That's olden days. That's a subscriber special territory. Yeah. Oh, uh, in the olden days of this channel, which this channel is nearly nine years old, by the way. Um, Fuck. Yeah, well, the channel's older, but like me actually uploading Let's Plays. Um, so... Uh, there was a two-year period of time where I did a lot of creepypasta readings. Most of them were Pokemon. Most of them were fan-made. What am I? What am I doing? I wanted my map. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, would the map help me in any way here? Decide if I want to go up or no. Okay. I will go up. Um. So, I had a forum, and people could write creepypasta on that and get feedback, and it was it was pretty cool. Sometimes it was a bit of a shit show, uh, but it was fun. That's a cool looking tentacruel. Um, that's a cruel looking tentacruel, more like it. I was it. thinking it. Just had to beat you to the punch. I had to beat you to not being funny. I didn't want to sink that low, though. Yeah. That's why I didn't say it. Or else we'd drown, because we're on a boat. So forum, right? Yeah, so the forum. Uh... There was, there were plenty, as any forum, there were plenty of uh, interesting users over the years. Silver Sophia. Yeah, it, it was, uh, actually, she came back to the Discord server one day under a new username and, like, made friends with everybody. And is actually nice. not, is actually not horrifically annoying anymore. <laughs> um, Thank goodness. Yeah, she grew up. Uh, oh, Jesus, this tentacle's kicking my ass, or tentacruel's kicking my ass. Um, it's four levels higher than you. I know, but I'm using Psychic. And it's got a lot of special defense. Alright, I'm just gonna catch Use it. Use a netball. Do 
it. Does that ball actually help with water? Okay, yeah. there we go. Might actually yeah, work. Yeah, it's a water Pokemon. Okay. Um, so there are many interesting users of the years. And the form still exists. It's just not... It looks Perfect. weird. <laughs> it, no one uses it, and it looks weird now uh, because it... Uh, the, the company that would host it got bought by another company, so the overlays and everything are different now. So it looks really weird. Um, I might actually just get that tentacruel. I like that more than Meryl. And it'd probably be more useful because it's a higher level. Um, and poison. Yeah. Oh, you already have one of those. Damn it. I was going to say use a net ball. Yeah. And you don't, don't have any more net balls. Yeah, I ran out. Guess we're never going to have one again. No. So there are a lot of old like old timey users who Oops. were like between the ages of 17 and maybe 19 but others were like 13 to 14 yeah but there was the a fairly big ones, age gap yeah the more common ones were like 17 to 19 and uh back when gen 6 it's uh feet on the ground oh you cut out for a second there, and then it caught up yeah. at hyperspeed. That was weird. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I, so, back when Gen 6 was getting its feet on the ground is what I heard. Uh, people were starting to get into the competitive battling, uh, or just battling Whoops. online, and they would go to the forum and ask people, hey, do you want to battle, or hey, do you want friend codes to be traded so we can go to the friend safaris and do other stuff like that? And one particular user got really into uh, wanting to portray a character from the, from the games, from the series. Like, he wanted to be within the series, pretty much. He liked role-playing a lot. This guy was called Santa's Delibird. Uh, he liked putting on a show uh, in regards to... I guess making it all grandstanding. Whenever he wanted to battle someone, he's like, All right, today I am going to challenge this person with this team because I want to be the next Pokemon Trainer Red. Or something like that. <sighs> it, it was insufferable. Nobody played along with them. Uh, those who were nice enough to oblige uh, or let him do his thing, uh... They kind of just left him alone for the most part. But once I started getting involved, uh, he battled me online, and I was the first one to defeat him. Um, I have a video of pretty much detailing the best interactions I've had with him. Oh, I need to uh, rewatch the that. Ta the Tale of Santa's Deli Bird. But... Um, I battled him twice over the course of knowing him. The first time, he used a team that was a recreation of Red's team from Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, and he lost. He was using a Mega Charizard right off the bat. He had poorly uh, EV trained Pokemon. They all had weird move sets. Uh, none of them were really all that good. And whenever he made a post about it back on the forum, about how he lost, focused on two of my Pokemon, that being Cryogonal and Hit Hitmonchan, um, what stood out to me is that uh, he made a separate forum post later after saying, all right, what a geek won, and I'm going to challenge him again this other time. Uh, he made a set, another forum post after this saying, uh, What a Geek's Hitmonchan knows the Falcon Punch. He one shot my Venusaur with a Falcon Punch, and I corrected him. Actually, it was an Ice Punch, and that's not Falcon Punch at all. Uh, then he made another post Did you know Cryogonal, being the only genderless Pokemon, can learn Attract? And he wouldn't have looked this up if he wasn't trying to like formulate a strategy for one of the Pokemon that <laughs> yep. knocked out his. So anyway, another forum post later on, different topic again. He wants to challenge me again on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, like making a public announcement about it. And he never does. Uh, flash forward to like May the next year, like five months later. Uh, he Fucking challenges me randomly when he sees me online 
and with a different team this time. He's kind of got a little bit more going for him this time, but it, it's still not enough. Then he starts sending me private messages on the forum. Uh, <laughs> I, I know. Unfortunately where, sorry, I know where this is all going. Yeah, I unfortunately can't remember all of what he said. Uh, <sighs> but he was convinced that I was his. Like, if he was Pokemon Trainer Red, I was his blue or something like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, he he went on to spout some weird nonsense about how uh, he does it, he battles for fun just like I battle for fun. Heck, I know everything is, or I know everyone wins and loses it sometimes. I accept my losses without give, ever giving up. I show true pride as a guardian. <laughs> my goal what? to do my best to fulfill my hopes and dreams. Uh, I show my true pride as a guardian is always the Santa's Deli Bird quote that I remember. Like, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> I show my pride as a guardian. <laughs> I so, show my true pride as a guardian. <laughs> I don't know if you know about this, Madrai, but during my playthrough of Dokapon Kingdom with some friends, I named myself True Guardian. Oh, God, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, that's Santa's deli bird. Yeah. He's, uh, he was a character, to be sure. That yeah. would be a great, like, that would be, like, a great, like, fake username. True uh, Guardian. True Guardian. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I still think about this today. Like, whatever happened to him? Because he did literally disappear off the internet, pretty much. He left the forum. He was unable to be gotten in contact. With yeah, of like, like I, I Diedrich tried DMing tried him. Yeah, Diedrich tried contacting him. No, no dice there. Yeah, so, I, I tried emailing him because as the admin of the forum, I can see everybody's email they signed up with for contact info. I actually emailed him once just to say, try and catch up and also say he's become a meme on the show over the years. And just yeah, nothing. But what made me start thinking in kind of in the dark about that was what if he actually, like, took his own life or something? What if he legitimately... <laughs> Got dark, so dark. depressed that he just left the he left life. I don't know. I don't. For some think reason, that's I couldn't help likely. but think it's possible. No, no it because he was also prone to post to make posts like uh, this is going to be the third year in a row where my grandmother is no longer with us. I miss her terribly. Oh I God! I, I forgot he also made those dark posts. Yeah. He, he oh, was actually kind of depressed, it seemed like. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. It's entirely possible he didn't want to live anymore. Are we entering the know. Dark Ages of Pokemon? Hold on, right guys. Now? Has my channel come full circle? And this is actually a creepypasta? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is my return to creepypasta readings. I'm happy you waited so long. Oh, uh, who I'm the hell the is this? Of the story. And to be long time nosy, dude, it's been like four years since I started this last, but I don't know who you are. Oh, you look puzzled. You're you wondering puzzled. who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. Oh, they finally stopped calling you AIDS, did they? Uh, the professor asked that I upgrade your Pokedex, you see. So I'd chosen this spot on a hunch you'd pass through. You didn't just call me? And we may have your Pokedex for a moment. Let's see. What was, uh... Was I supposed to put the software in here? You don't... What, do you need to locate... What, are you looking for, like, a USB port? All right, I've up upgraded it. I shouldn't... I should explain it, shouldn't I? It can now display images of male and female Poke... Are you putting porn on my Pokédex? <laughs> uh, okay, I'll leave you to carry on with your project for the professor. That's it? May I ask you to keep an eye on Team Galactic? The professor is concerned about what happened in Jubilee Life City. It's probably nothing to worry about or worry over. Uh, I'll be on my way now. What the fuck? What he did? What he did is all he did was load on a Rule Thirty Four log onto your Pokedex for every Pokemon that you have. What the fuck is this Pika porn doing on my Pokedex? Oh, uh, the police officer there is like, excuse me. Yeah, you're, you're looking is at the Pokedex. He actually he oh. upgraded your Pokedex. So um, any Pokemon that you've seen, or I believe specifically caught, that have a gender difference, like Pikachu or Wooper or something like that, 
then you'd be able to toggle between what each gender looks like. Oh, um, what a stupid, pointless feature to draw that much attention to. Boy, I sure am thirsty. Fuck you, I know your reference. Oh, okay, wow, that was actually a really short route that led to this city. Maybe I should uh, actually go and fight those trainers. Let's just heal here, and I'm going to go yeah, fight those two fishermen it. back there. Wait, you have to go in the Pokemart and see what they have for sale. Because you want netballs? I need to know if they have netballs. There's also the move deleter in here, so if you need to get rid of any HMs, this is the place. Like, if ah, Roselia okay. needs to get rid of Cut, then you can do that. Yeah, I might do that some... Well, I need someone with Cut, but if I could, like, pile that on to, like... I don't know. I don't think you need Cut specifically... Yeah, you don't require cut anymore. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Uh, this is the guy. Uh, oh, I saw Blue Roof and just automatically thought Pokemart is this one. It's gotta have the Pokeball on it. Fuck. Uh, Try the guy next to him. Yeah, I think I'm good on all those. Fuck. Ooh, only good balls here, but I already have a bunch of them, so. All right, I'm going to go fight those other two trainers, Bro, then we'll, uh, oh yeah, that'll go well. Then I'll fly you back to here and talk to everybody. All right, uh, it's easier to get to the fishermen from here. Less water to go through. My true pride is a guardian. Wait, Onyx is a guardian? Uh, oh! Maybe I subconsciously named it my <laughs> pride because wait, hold on. What happened first, that post or the beginning of this let's play? Because you got to remember that too, post, obviously, you got to remember, though, it's not just that I posted the first episode of this let's play like four years ago. I had recorded it a full year. The first six episodes were recorded a full year before they were posted. So the first six mm, episodes oh, of the yes. series are probably like five years old. Mm. So it's iffy. Oh, well, no, no but you didn't catch Onyx old. until much later. Mm, yeah, I don't think I caught Onyx until like episode like eight or something. So that would have been four years ago ish. OK, then, yeah, uh, Santa's Deli Bird happened before that because it was in 2013. OK, wow. wow. Outdoor fishing for the win. Uh, shouting uh, doesn't help my fishing any, but shout I must. So. Why? Just to date this episode <laughs> once again, because it's like my favorite thing. Um, earlier today, the game Bigfoot, a game that Brand and I streamed once forever ago, and it was hilarious. Uh, it updated, and it didn't just update like a little bit. Uh, it updated a lot of bit. And by that, I mean uh, they changed every asset in the game, according to their patch notes. I did play a little bit. They did. Uh, they added a new map, although they removed the other map because they changed every asset, so it's just one map that's good. Um, almost every game mechanic seems to be changed, just the idea is the same, and the whole game seems to be way better. It's still a little rough around the edges. It's still clearly like a sloppily made game in Unity, uh, but that game, that was just a game that me and Brandon streamed for a couple hours and laughed our asses off at the whole time, might actually be really cool now. So just, you know, this this episode airs the Friday that of the week that we're recording it. We're recording this on the Tuesday. Uh, so look forward to a possible Bigfoot streams. In, in fact, you may have already streamed it by the time that you're watching this. Who knows? Maybe me and Brandon really want to stay up overnight tonight playing Bigfoot on stream. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe that's what we're going to do with our time. I will say, you ever notice with this with Unity games, especially where the lighting is fucking horrendous because they want to do some artsy thing of the sun going down, but they make the light in the dark so different that in the darkness, you can't see fucking anything. And that's why they make so many horror games in Unity. Uh, it very much has that. I played the game for like three, four minutes just to see what it was like now. In the time it took me to walk from the starting location to the cabin that was on my map, uh, which was, you know, three or four minutes, uh, the sun started to go down and it was like, it was like an alien planet. Like everything, like if it is not directly being touched by the flaming red glow of the sun, it is <laughs> pitch black. So uh, flashlight use encouraged. 
Oh, look, it's the pistol Pokemon. Oh, right, Brandon probably doesn't know about that, does he? I saw the name and thought Roman Reigns. What the fuck? No, no. No, no. Brandon, I have I something know. that is going to make you so happy. Roman Reigns just won all of the titles in a single match. No, so at the previous pay-per-view, it was Bobby Lashley versus Roman Reigns. And, mm -hmm. uh... I it, it was actually a pretty shit match, which is a shame because I thought that it was probably going to be a really good match, actually. I think those two could have a great match. Uh, it was a pretty shit match. Uh, uh -huh. Nothing was on the line. Uh, Bobby Lashley wins. The oh. next night on Raw... But nobody beats the big dog. <laughs> exactly. Next night on Raw... Uh, there's some number one contendership matches where it's like a it's like little tournament kind of matches to crown a number one contender for the universal title. Yeah. In one triple threat, Roman wins, and the other triple threat, Bobby wins. So the week after, Bobby Lashley versus Roman Reigns for a number one contendership, which basically means the pay-per-view didn't matter in terms yeah. of that match. Uh, this time, Roman wins. Do you know what that means, Brandon? That means, on pay-per-view, we have Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, number six! Their yes. sixth pay-per-view match against each other. I wonder who's gonna win this one. And this is the fourth one-on-one -on -one for the title of those six matches. Yeah. Oh. My. God. Roman Reigns <laughs> is the big dog. He's always number one contender. This is his yard now. I don't know if you got the memo. <laughs> what the fuck? And they did such a good job on Raw the other night of making Brock Lesnar be an unlikable asshole. There, the arena actually chanted, we want Roman. Oh, God. That is impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Is. Well, they they got him to they the only way they could get it to happen is by uh, is by having um, Brock Lesnar turn on Paul Heyman because everybody loves Paul Heyman. Uh, yeah. Fair. Anyway, um, you all came to this playthrough for the great wrestle talk. Well, geek, one of these days you're gonna watch wrestling with us. It's gonna be great. One of these days. One of these days. You can... I'll, I'll just show you uh, TJP matches over and over because he is Scott Pilgrim. That is his gimmick. I mean, it's, it's more fleshed out now, but his gimmick was clearly Scott Pilgrim because, uh, like, you know, he's got his whole, like, I'm a video game playing dude thing, but uh, when, when he came to WWE and they had to, like, make his theme and his entrance and everything, it's clear that someone backstage is like, okay, he's got a video game kind of thing going, I, I watched that Scott Pilgrim movie and like that, so let's do that. So his his theme and his entrance are fucking awesome. And now that he's a villain, he is the most hateable, ridiculous, over-the-top, dabbing douchebag in the world. And instantly turned off. Oh, it's amazing. He show him just you just have to show him do a flip. Yeah, I can show him do a flip from Japan, uh, which is uh why do I use a blank on do a flip's name? Uh, that is his name. Why am I blanking on his name? Jesus Christ. Will Ospreay. That's or as name, Brandon Jesus calls Christ. him, do a flip. Skinny guy who flips a thousand times on every move. Oh, man. Dizzy Galepsy. I still just remember that one time Brandon comes over for a pay per view. On the pre show, it's like. Three of the bad guys from 205 Live, one of them is TJP, against the Lucha House Party. Brandon doesn't know TJP, so he doesn't know the dabbing gimmick, where he dabs to be hateable. And then he like he gets cut off, and in unison, all three members of the Loser House Party, Loser House Party is their nickname, uh, all, all oh, dabbing, about. they all dab aggressively at him in unison, and Brandon's just like, what? And you I said just... loser house party and that there were three members. I can only think that you meant you, Fatima, and Brandon. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. All right, let's fight this guy. And then we're going to go around and talk to everybody in town. In the oh, Pokemon man. Center? Yeah, uh, this is a thing well, in this game. Look, it's it's Arturo. Oh my god, it's Arturo again. We fought him before at a previous one, and I think we might have one-shot him because his Pokemon's awful. Wait, what? Uh, Arturo. Arturo's the name of this trainer. He has a terrible Pokemon, and we fought him in a few Poke Centers now. 
Where's Caesar? I don't know. Rome? Na, 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 na. <laughs> Caesar and Arturo versus Bio Lizard? <laughs> yeah? You mean the second best episode of Flash Trash? Well, kicked his ass. <laughs> it tried Factual. to correct. I googled it, and what did it do? It corrected it to Caesar and Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really want that now. Oh, Caesar and Naruto versus Bio Lizard. Can someone make fan art of that, please? We only got one fan art of, uh... I'll let you know that Caesar is basically just Sonic, so it's pretty easy. Yeah. Um... I will warn you, by the way, that if you're gonna... Well, th that's for next episode, right? Where you're gonna be yeah. talking to everyone? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll talk to everybody next episode. Okay, I'll I... warn you next episode. Okay, that's your cliffhanger, everybody. Next episode, the warning of whatever what a geek's gonna say. Um, I was just gonna say that, uh... Oh, fuck, if I forgot now. Fan art, Caesar and Arturo. Fan art, thank you. Uh, we did get one one um, fan art of Arbacus Trogdor. I was hoping to get more of them. I'll give it another week. At the end of the next, at the start of the next recording session we do, because this will go up on Friday, I'll give people plenty of time. At the start of the next recording session we do, I'm gonna catalog every single Arbok, uh, every single Arbok slash Trogdor fan art that gets sent to me and put them all in the video. Until next time, have a nice day. Yeah.